हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न कॉमर्स विथ नमिता आई एम नमिता माने इन टू डेज वीडियो लेट अस सॉल्व एन एग्जांपल ऑफ शेयर वैल्यूएशन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू वैल्यूएट द शेयर्स बाय नेट एसेट मेथड ईल्ड बेस्ड मेथड एंड फेयर वैल्यू मेथड सो दिस इज द एग्जांपल ऑन द स्क्रीन द फॉलोइंग इज द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ पुरोहित लिमिटेड एज ऑन 31st मार्च 2023 so these are the liabilities and assets then there are some additional information provided that assets were valued as follows goodwill 121000 freehold premises 357000 machinery 198000 furniture 66000 stock in trade 68750 trade receivables 1,7750. These are the assets which are revalued. Then the net profit for the last three years is as follows: for 2021, 2022, 2022 to 2023, this is the net profit for the last three years. Third uh, information is. it is the practice of the company to transfer 25% of the profit to the reserve fund next the the fair yield in respect of equity shares of similar type of company is assert at 10% so this 10% is basically nominal rate of return now you are required to calculate the value of each equity share under net asset method yield based method and fair value method so with the help of this information provided in the example we are going to value the shares by net asset method yield based method and fair value method so let's uh, solve the example now by first method we are going to value the equity shares uh, that is net asset method so to cal uh, to find the value of uh, equity share by uh, net asset method first you need to calculate the total net assets okay so first you will write all the assets now the assets which are valued which are revalued those assets you will take in for the calculation so first is goodwill goodwill is 1 lakh 21000 like goodwill 1 lakh 21000 next freehold premises now in the uh, balance sheet freehold premises is 1 lakh 37500 but the freehold premises are revalued as 3 lakh 57000 so this 3 lakh 57000 you will take for the calculation basis for uh, total net asset freehold premises 3 lakh 57000 after that machineries machineries are valued as 1 lakh 98000 machineries One lakh ninety-eight thousand. Next, furnitures. Furnitures are valued as sixty-six thousand. The in the book value, furnitures are thirty-eight thousand five hundred. But we have to take the furnitures which are uh, revalued as sixty-six thousand. Furnitures. furniture 66000 next stock in trade 68750 stock in trade 68750 then next is trade receivables One lakh seven thousand seven fifty. 
it with the river. One lakh seven thousand seven hundred fifty. Now in the trial balance we have bank balance that is seventy one thousand five hundred. Check bank balance. Seventy-one thousand five hundred. Now add all the assets. The total you will get nine nine lakh ninety thousand. Nine lakh ninety thousand is the total of the total assets. Okay. Now from this total assets, we have to less the total liabilities. Now liabilities uh, in the balance sheet is trade. Payable and bills payable. Trade payable is one lakh twenty three thousand seven fifty, and bills payable is forty one thousand two fifty. So less the liabilities. Trade payable one lakh twenty three thousand seven fifty, and bills. Payable is forty one thousand two fifty. Now from this, from total assets, less the liabilities. From nine lakh ninety thousand, less these two liabilities. So total you will get eight lakh twenty five thousand. So this is a total net assets. So total or uh, total net asset is eight lakh twenty five thousand. Okay, so now we got the total net asset. Now the second step in the net asset method is to calculate the fund available for equity shareholders. So formula is. Total net assets less preference share capital. So the total net asset, how much we got? Eight lakh twenty five thousand. Eight lakh twenty five thousand is the total net asset which we have calculated in the first step. Less preference share capital. Now check in the liability side. Is there any preference share capital? No, there are no preference share capital. So It will be nil. What will be the funds available for equity sharehold share shareholders? Eight lakh twenty five thousand. Okay. Now after the second step, you need to calculate the intrinsic value of each equity share. So formula is fund available for equity shareholders. So how much did we get the fund available for equity shareholders? The value is eight lakh twenty five thousand. Eight lakh twenty-five thousand divided by number of equity shares. So in the balance sheet, the equity sharehold equity share is twenty-seven thousand five hundred. Twenty-seven thousand five hundred is the number of equity shares. So if we divide, we get rupees thirty. So rupees thirty is the value of equity share as per the net asset method. So rupees thirty. Now we got the equity share value rupees thirty by net asset method. Now we will find the uh, value of share by yield base method. So to calculate the value of shares by yield base method. the first step is that calculate the average expected future profit so for that we need to calculate the average profit so now for last 3 years they have given the profit so add all this profit and divided by the number of years that is 3 so to calculate average profit the formula is total profit Divided by number of years. So total profit, uh, 
add the uh, last three uh, net profit one lakh twenty three thousand seven fifty plus one lakh thirty four thousand seven fifty plus one lakh thirty seven thousand five hundred divided by three. See the total we get. Three lakh ninety six thousand ninety six thousand three lakh ninety six thousand divided by divided by three. So the answer we get average profit average profit is equals to divide. Three lakh ninety six thousand by three, we get one lakh thirty two thousand. So average profit is one lakh thirty two thousand. Okay. Now after we get average profit, that is one lakh thirty two thousand, we have to calculate the maintainable profit. So to calculate maintainable profit, the formula is average profit less percentage transfer to Reserve. So average profit, how much did we get? One lakh thirty-two thousand. Okay, one lakh thirty-two thousand is the average profit. Less percentage. Percentage. See here in the additional information, the third adjustment. They have said that it is the practice of the company to transfer twenty-five percent of the profit to reserve fund. That means 25% we have to transfer to reserve fund. So 25% of 1,32,000. Okay. So 25% of 1,32,000 we get 33,000. Okay. How did we get 33,000? We have removed. Twenty-five percent of one lakh thirty-two thousand, so we get thirty-three thousand. Okay, so less it from one lakh thirty-two thousand minus thirty-three thousand, we get ninety-nine thousand. Okay. Now this is a maintainable profit, ninety-nine thousand. Now the the third step is calculate the capitalized value of maintainable profit. So to calculate that, the formula is what future maintainable profit divided by normal rate of return multiplied by hundred. So future maintainable profit we got as ninety nine thousand. Okay. Now divided by normal rate of return. So normal rate of return is how much? Ten percent. We get capitalized value as nine lakh ninety thousand. So this is a capitalized capitalized value of profit. Now the fourth step is calculation of yield value of each equity share. The formula is value of equity share is equals to capitalized value of profit divided by number of equity shares. So capitalized value of profit we got nine lakh ninety thousand divided by number of equities, number of equity shares. So number of equity share is twenty seven thousand five hundred. Twenty seven thousand five hundred. So if we divide, we get rupees thirty six. So the value of share by yield based method is rupees thirty six. Now we will find the value of shares by fair value method. So to calculate value of shares by fair value method. The formula is intrinsic value plus yield value divided by two. Basically, 
fair value method is the average of net assets method and yield based method so how much we got the net asset method rupees 30 plus yield value 36 divided by 2 so we add we get 66 plus uh, 66 divided by 2 we get rupees 33 so this is the value rupees 33 is the value of equity share as per fair value method so in this way you have to calculate the valuation of shares by net asset method yield based method and fair value method so these are the steps which you have to follow while calculating the value valuation of the shares by the following methods i hope you have understood this uh, example thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification.